kidding. Huh? I think I found a genie in a bottle, babe. With a bottle shape, but she don't have no problem representing for the team. Okay, it's feeling like I just hit the lotto, baby. 32, 26. Hi, ladies. So I know that some of y'all have contacted me on my Facebook that knows me. I don't have a lot of followers, which is weird because I have more of y'all on my Facebook. But anyways, I get a lot of compliments on how my hair grows fast and what I use. I change up some, I change up my shampoo and my conditioner a lot that I use. But what I'm going to be doing this time is using all of these on my hair. I always start with the oil and I end with an oil but I'm gonna be ending with the two oils right here. So, um, this one was sent to me in my Ipsy bag, actually. Make sure it focuses in. And it's the In Shower Miracle Oil. And I use this on my skin also. It's actually really good to help me stay hydrated, especially when it's like winter time, even though it's summer right now. But I did put this on my hair already and I'm letting it sit in there before I go get in the shower. I got these, I got the little trial size um, about a month and a half ago when I did a deep condition and a wash on my hair to flat iron it. And they actually work better than any natural shampoo and conditioner I've tried. I am now a lover of the Nexus, so I will be getting the larger size of this. I just noticed they're in the wrong order. So it's shampoo and the conditioner. And if I'm correct, uh, I want to say they're sulfate free. That's what I want to say. But I know their first ingredient is water, but they're really good. They're very replenishing. It makes my hair feel really smooth. And I'm going to be doing this since I did have my hair straight for about two and a half months straight, I, even though I washed it twice, but I still straighten it back out. I want to go ahead and get a good um, miracle and I've tried this one before this one's a new bottle as you can tell and it works pretty good I didn't feel like doing a super super deep condition because I'll do that at the end of this at the end of this month or the beginning of next month since next month is June and I cut my ends I clip my ends two times a year I do it in January and then I do it again in June and I just let them grow and do whatever that helps my hair grow faster actually I don't overcut. I'm going to be using two deep conditioners. One's going to be a leave-in detangler and one's going to be a leave-in conditioner. I've used this on my dry hair when I just wanted, instead of washing it, I just put this on there and braided it up so it was still had my length, but it curled up, well waved up into a nice little, you know, braid out. So I used this and it actually works really good on my dry hair, so I'm really excited to see how it works on my my natural texture and these little bottles right here the nexus and the curls i got from target yeah you can get them from target i'm sorry if my my phone had cut off so hopefully that came through but the small ones the small samples now target has them <clears throat> so you can get them instead of buying the whole item they have the samples of this they have the whole sample container i mean package of all of these this brand but I didn't want all of them. I really just wanted to try this, but they didn't have a whole sample set of the Blueberry Bliss. So I'm gonna have to probably try the other ones at a different beauty supply or Sally's or see where I can get them. So I can try the full line and see if the full line works. But I really like my setup right now. <clears throat> and then when it comes to the detangler, I really, really, really love Dove detangler. It works really good on my hair. I think the only other one that works good is the um, just for me hair milk I know it's for little kids but it works perfectly fine for my texture and it helps you tangle I have really really thick curly hair you'll see it when I show you me finger detangling before I put my <clears throat> oil in <clears throat> then I'm going to seal with the two oils right here I'm gonna use the grapeseed oil first this is one that I recently picked started picking up you can tell there's not a lot mis used in it but I really like it. It doesn't have like a strong, strong smell. And it's heavy, but not heavy, but it's enough for my hair because I absorb a lot of moisture. 
Then I'm gonna use my Hot Six oil. It's on this little tissue because for some reason this slid is not where it should be. So when I lay it like this, it leaks a little bit, but I have another one, so I'm not really stressing. But this is my old school. My mom used to use this on my hair when I was a kid and it's good for everything like, I don't know if y'all can see that. Let it focus. There we go. It's good for hot oil treatments, hair oil treatments, body oil, scalp, bath, nail. It has like 15 herbs in there. Let me flip it over. See if I can get to all of the ingredients. Okay, so one more flip. Here are all the ingredients. Let's see if we can let it focus. Uh, we'll do it like that. Uh, okay. okay, there we go. So, starts off with the olive oil, canola, wheat, sweet almond, sapphire, safflower, flour, my apologies, castor oil, sesame oil, vitamin E, A, D, and just keeps going and going and going and going and going. This is the only thing that has sage in it that I can use because it's not on my face. And I'm guessing because I always use it in a shower and it doesn't bother me. But when I eat sage, it closes my throat. So this is pretty weird. But it has the henna in there. <clears throat> the ginseng. Everything that you would need for your hair, your skin, and everything else. And yes, it's, it's the real deal. It's, yeah, it's back there. There we go. This is my mom's favorite product. My mom's favorite hair company. This is what we use on my hair as a child, you know, old school, get a brush and some, a cup of warm water and a comb and go to town getting ready for church and Easter. But I'm not going to really show you how I wash my hair. I think we've seen a lot of videos of how you wash hair, but I will let you see, you know, me detangling it out of the shower, but I do it in the shower as well. But I will still put some of this in my hair when I get out of the shower and do a secondary detangle. I'm not the typical natural hair person that will do my hair like everyone else. I detangle my hair with a comb regardless if it's dry or wet because I know how to detangle my hair. I grip my hair and I hold it taut and I work bottom to, up, to top. So you're not going to see from here these three things going on because that's going to be in my shower. That's my private time to relax and enjoy myself. What I usually do, I usually shampoo. I shampoo my scalp. I don't shampoo my hair. I let the suds go through my hair when I wash it out. While my hair is in sections, I put my conditioner and this conditioner in it and I let it get a nice, it has a good slip too, but I make sure that it's very slippy and I start de finger detangling. Then I use my white tooth comb and I detangle it some more. I'm gonna rinse that out. And then my final one is gonna be this one. I'm gonna leave this in. I know it says three minute miracle, but I'm probably gonna leave it in for five minutes. I usually leave this conditioner in for five minutes. And then that time I'm, I'm doing everything to my body, you know, shampoo, washing my body, um, exfoliating my body, do using my sugar scrubs. And after I get finished with this, I'm going to, get out and be pretty much be done with my shower and washing my hair. I dry my hair with a t-shirt. I, I use a long sleeve t-shirt and I will show you that when I come back. You'll see that on my hair when I come back and we'll do the rest of these in my bathroom. Thank you. Okay, so you're gonna see me in the bathroom right now. Yes, my hair does look a mess. I had my hair, as I stated before, flat iron for about two and a half months and this is, after playing with my child during her last bath last night so the humidity made it very crazy but thankfully it wasn't too bad i was still able to finger detangle that's what you're seeing me doing right now you can tell that the bottom already started to curl up from the steam in the shower in the bathroom but the top is still straight just frizzy and fluffy because i really didn't feel like doing anything to it so what I do, I like to finger detangle mainly my ringlets. I don't really get a lot of tangles, but I like to finger detangle my ringlets. So when I get in the shower to condition, 
and shampoo that my ringlets don't twist around each other that's what they usually do they will <laughs> do like it's doing right now and form one big curl and it looks cute but it's the most painful curl to undo if I undo it with water it hurts so bad yeah I think I'm singing Mickey Mouse Club house with my daughter because she was in the hallway yeah the life of having an 18 month old you might see her on this video if she wants to be seen but she probably so you see me right now untangling some of my curls that decided to curl themselves around each other it's kind of crazy but that's what my hair does so i'm going to do the same process on the opposite side of my hair and throughout my hair and towards the back a lot of times it gets a little painful i was just about to say i'm pretty tender-headed um and i'm going to go ahead and then do the sectioning of my hair and you'll hear me talking again later, but I don't think you need to hear me commentating the whole time. So, yeah, I'm still singing songs in my head. And excuse my face, I'm still, you know, trying to get my weight down from delivering the baby. So, hopefully by summertime I'll be perfect. But I'm going to play you some music as I start working on this hair of mine.
As you can see right here, my hair is pretty wavy and curly and very thick. This is my hair on its thin day. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my leave-in conditioner and conditioning process. So back to the music. And excuse my dancing. It's going to be a little a little random. And I just noticed that I have what they call as a, ret a resting bitch face. So yeah, stuff smells good. All right, keep it going. I do prefer the Dove Quench brand of the leave-in detangler. Their shampoo and conditioner works pretty good. It also has really good slip and it just makes my hair a lot softer and helps detangle it even when I spray it on my hair when my hair is dry. It helps me detangle it and helps it curl up a little bit if I want to have a nice summer wave texture. It works good on my toddler too and she has really curly random hair as well. So, I think I went to go get my comb. Yeah. Earlier you saw me with the t-shirt on my hair. That makes your hair dry without it drying out. A lot of towels can dry out your hair and help, you know, pull your hair. And for me, my curls get tangled up in it. So, I'm going to let you continue to listen to the music. I hope you enjoy the song. And talk to you in a little bit. Even. 
I know you're probably saying, oh my God, she's putting hairspray on her hair. Her hair is going to break off and die and like shrivel up and run away. But it's actually a not too stick, not too sticky, not heavy. It's a come through hairspray by Nexus. It comes with the sample pack if you buy that at Target. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and speed through the second half, okay? Other team now move, right, right there. Hit reverse, girl, and back that rep. Rolling with me, then light that up, and the rest is history. Right that but my cheerleader, something about her demeanor. Even though I'm off these margaritas, can't none of these hoes here come between us. Shotty, no regular chick, so I just take her to places she ain't no exist. So she never forget who the man is. Oh, she gives me love and affection. Baby, did I mention you're the only girl for me? No, I don't need a next one. Mama loves you too, she thinks I made the right selection. What all that's left to do is just for me to put the quest to move. I think that I found myself a cheerleader. She is always right there when I need her.